Robobug is a serious game involving a player taking the role of a scientist attempting to purge bugs from their infected mech suit and save the world from an alien bug invasion. The game includes several different tools that allow the player to debug the code in the game. The first and most important tool is the bug catcher tool. They must move and use the bug catcher tool to catch the bug and proceed to the next level. The second tool players use in Robobug is the activator tool. This tool allows players to execute a print statement in a program. Here's a tutorial level where the player first learns how the activator tool works. The yellow text indicates where the activator tool can be used. This results in a pop-up window displaying a hint about the bug. The player uses the tab button to switch back to the activator tool to the bug catcher tool with this new information. Now the player can go to the buggy code and use the bug catcher tool to catch the bug. For this example level, the player's mech suit is failing to correctly identify the most dangerous bugs that appear in its viewing area. The player will need to catch several bugs inside the mech suit before they can solve the problem. First, the mech suit has a bug in its swap function that swaps two numbers in place. The end result of this should be that variable num1 stores the value of variable num2, and vice versa. To observe this behavior, we can activate several print statements in the code to see what's going on. We'll discover that the swap function is actually incorrect. The value for num2 ends up being assigned to all of the variables, and the num2 variable doesn't store the value from num1. Once the player realizes that this is the problem, they can switch to the bug catcher tool and catch the bug. Next, we have a priority assigner function. This function is supposed to sort a list of numbers where all the numbers except the first are in descending order. These numbers represent the threat of the bugs that are trying to attack the mech suit. The function is supposed to move the first element into the correct location, then return the now sorted list. The print statements in this level show us sample values in one of these lists, the number of elements in this list, and an out-of-bounds error message. This indicates that the bug is in the for loop where the boundaries are not properly set. Now that the player knows that this is the case, they can go to the for loop and catch the bug there. Once these two sublevels are finished, we can proceed to the mech suits threat sorting program. Here, we have a complete sorting algorithm that contains another bug. One of the print statements shows us that the algorithm isn't sorting the first element in the list. This suggests that the problem is similar to the previous level, where the boundaries of the list are not properly assigned. Unfortunately, the player makes a mistake. They assume that the problem is that the while loop condition isn't correct. They're wrong here, and this causes the player to fail the level when they falsely identify where the bug is. Since they haven't correctly identified the bug, they'll have to try again, this time realizing that the initial indexes of the list are 1s instead of zeros, which is what the bug truly is. Now that the bug has been found, they can use the bug catcher correctly, and the mission will be a success. There are a total of five different tools that the player will need to use over the course of the game. The Warper tool allows players to move between different functions in a large program. The Commenter tool allows players to comment out blocks of code to see if a bug is contained within that block. If an error message still occurs after the block of code was commented out, that block of code doesn't contain the bug, it must be found elsewhere. The Breakpointer tool allows players to activate breakpoints that are set up in a program. The breakpoints can be activated later for the player to observe variable values and the program state at runtime. 